Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak 8.1.2 on all iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad models utilizing TIG. If you've been holding off on jailbreaking or updating to 8.1.x until now, this is the time to do so. All right, so to start off, I wanted to say that I'm going to preface by saying a few things that I need to get out of the way. However, if you're one of my regular viewers and you know the drill by now, or you feel like you're more proficient in jailbreaking, then there will be a few annotations down below on the bottom of this video. So just be sure that you view this video on desktop. That's absolutely crucial. So that way you can skip ahead if you need to. And with that said, I'm going to cover everything related to jailbreaking and how to jailbreak iOS 8.1.2 completely untethered so that you guys can do so successfully. So if you happen to encounter any complications during the jailbreak process, ensure that you rewatch this video in its entirety. And with that said, first up, let's go over the supported devices. So the latest version of Taiji includes support for the iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 6, iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C, iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, the iPad Air 2 and iPad Mini 3, the original iPad Air, the iPad Mini 2 with Retina Display, the original iPad, iPad mini, the iPad 2, and last but not least, the fifth generation iPod Touch, which is what I'm going to be using to demonstrate with in today's tutorial. And with that said, you're going to need a few things downloaded on your computer on a Windows-based PC. And I will actually include a link down below in the more info to a post on my site that contains everything you need to successfully jailbreak, being iTunes as well as the Taiji jailbreak utility. But before you do that, if you updated to the current iteration of iOS 8 that your device is running via the settings app, meaning you went inside of settings general and then software update and you updated to whichever firmware your device is on via that method, for example, mine's on iOS 8.1.2, then you will have to follow the method that I'm going to describe to you guys because you will most certainly encounter issues and complications post jailbreak, such as random resprings and crashes. So plug your device into your computer via a standard USB cable, launch iTunes, and then once iTunes is open, create a backup and then restore your device to iOS 8.1.2. Once you've done that, set your device up as a new and fresh device. You can restore all of your data back onto it later once you're already jailbroken. Follow this tutorial to jailbreak iOS 8.1.2 successfully and then restore from your backup inside of iTunes once you have City and once it's functioning as it should. However, keep in mind that once Apple releases a firmware to patch the jailbreak or the next iteration of iOS 8, you absolutely shouldn't restore and you'll just have to deal with the potential complications from being on a device that was updated via Apple's OTA or over the air update option. And again, I will have an annotation on the screen once that happens. If you don't see an annotation, then you're absolutely fine. So again, it is crucial that you view this video on desktop so that way you can know for certain. Now next, this is also crucial. You will have to disable a few things on your device before we can get started and before we can proceed with the jailbreak tutorial. So inside of the settings app, you're going to go to passcode and you're going to complete completely disable passcode. As you can see, it gives me the option to turn it on. That's because I already have passcode lock disabled. This is crucial for the jailbreak to succeed and you can actually re-enable passcode lock later, but for it to function properly, you need to have it disabled as well as the find my iPhone or find my iDevice portion of the iCloud portion of the settings app. So as you can see here inside of settings, iCloud, I'm not even signed into an iCloud account. You will actually have to sign into an iCloud account and then sign out of Find My iPhone or Find My iDevice so that Taiji successfully recognizes that that feature is turned off. That's how it verifies it. So take this time to log into iCloud and then disable Find My iPhone. So as you can see down below at the bottom for Find My iPod Touch, again, keep in mind the name will change depending on your device. If you have an iPhone, it'll be Find My iPhone. If you have an iPad, it'll be Find My iPad. But regardless, as you can see, Find My iPod Touch is completely disabled for me inside of the iCloud portion of the settings app. So again, remember that is crucial that you disable that portion and that you actually sign into your account because that's how Taiji recognizes that it is disabled. And one last thing that I wanted to show you guys inside of settings, general, about, 
down below at the bottom for the version this iPod Touch confirms that it is indeed running iOS 8.1.2, the latest public firmware as of recording this video. All right, now with all of that out of the way, we can proceed. We're gonna need two things downloaded, the latest iteration of iTunes to ensure that your computer successfully recognizes your device and in turn, Taiji does the same as well as Taiji. Again, both can be downloaded from the post that I have linked to down below in the more info. And you're going to need to be on a Windows-based PC. Unfortunately, as of now, Taiji does not support Mac OS X or OS 10 users. If you happen to own a Mac, then you can follow the untethered Pangu jailbreak tutorial that I will have linked to on the screen now via an annotation form. However, it only functions up to firmware version iOS 8.1. So if you're on 8.1.1 or 8.1.2, then you will either have to borrow a friend's PC or you'll have to get Windows set up in either a virtual environment or via boot camp on your Mac. There are numerous tutorials online for both. And with that said, let's go ahead and proceed. So I have Taiji downloaded here. This is exactly what you'll get. You'll get a compressed file. Make sure that you don't have anything installed such as WinRAR or anything to handle zips because if you do, it could cause complications. All you have to do is just double click on the folder and then drag Taiji to your desktop. It's really that simple. As you can see, once it's done copying, I actually have it over here. Let's bring it into view. And there we go. We have Taiji now on our desktop, fully extracted, just native. I'm running Windows 8, by the way. You can also do the exact same thing on Windows 7. And with that said, let's go ahead and connect our device to our computer via standard USB cable. So I connected my iPod to fifth generation and let's go ahead and launch up iTunes if it doesn't automatically pop up and you will have to verify the connection on your device as well as your computer so as you can see over here on my fifth generation iPod touch it asks me to trust the connection and on the computer it asks me to click continue so I'm going to tap on trust on the fifth gen iPod here and click continue inside of iTunes it's so important that you guys establish the trust for the connection with your device and your computer so ensure that you do that and that iTunes successfully recognizes your device. Once iTunes brings up your device, inside of its interface, you know that you're good to go and you can proceed. So bringing my iPod Touch out of view for a second, I'm going to wait until iTunes recognizes it. So it did indeed take some time, but as you can see, iTunes does have a screen here. It says, welcome to your new iPod. That's fine, I'm just going to close out of it. And then once you've done that, you can launch Taiji. So I'm just going to double click it and we'll get started. So I'm also going to click on run and we're going to readjust the view here. And then let's proceed with the iOS 8.1.2 jailbreak. All right, so after having zoomed in, you'll notice that we have a couple of check boxes here. The top one is Cydia. That's all we're really concerned about, followed by 3K Assistant. Let's go ahead and uncheck that because that's just a third-party Chinese distribution platform. So again, uncheck 3K Assistant. We're not interested in that at all. All we need to download and install the third-party packages, tweaks, and modifications is just Cydia, which it checks by default. Also, at the top here, you'll notice that Taiji does indeed confirm that this is indeed a fifth-generation iPod touch running iOS 8.1.2. And with that said, let's go ahead and click start and continue with this jailbreak. So as you can see here, it's proceeding with the jailbreak. We have a nice status indicator and definitely don't unplug your device. Just leave it connected and let it do its thing and refer to the progress inside of the Taiji jailbreak utility. So as you can see, now it moved past 30%. We're at 40% and continuing. Everything's looking fine. And if you get past 30%, then you know you're good to go. If for whatever reason you get stuck at 30%, then you will unfortunately have to restore your device. That's just how it is because of some sort of incompatibility with your device. Again, you will be required to restore. And if it still doesn't function after having restored, then just set it up as a brand new device inside of iTunes when it prompts you to do so. As you saw, previously, it gave me a setup iPod touch screen. Just go ahead and click setup as a new device. And then from there, after iTunes finishes syncing, just go back to Taiji and retry the jailbreak. So again, we are now at 80% and it's saying that it's executing the jailbreak. So it's delivered all of the files and it's actually jailbreaking the fifth generation iPod touch running iOS 8.1.2 right now. So definitely do not interface with it at all during this process. Leave it connected to your computer and refrain from touching either the power, home, lock, or volume buttons. Again, definitely do not unplug it.
All right, so as you can see, it is rebooting. We have a smiley face over here inside of Taiji, and it says jailbreak successful. So now let's just wait for the fifth generation iPod Touch to reboot. From there, we will have Cydia, and it's just going to need to reorganize the file system. So now let's go ahead and just wait for the reboot, and I'll be right back, but I'm going to leave the iPod Touch up just so you guys can see again how long it should take. All right, so here we go. It is coming back up now. It should be at the lock screen shortly. Taiji's recognized it. As you can see, here we go. Let's go ahead and slide to unlock, scroll over, and as you can see, we now have Cydia. So I'm going to tap on Cydia, and it's just going to prepare the file system. Definitely do not power off your device, and don't even exit out of Cydia at this point. Just let it prepare the file system, and like I said, refrain from interacting with it at all. This step will take a while, so just just be patient. It is crucial, however, that again, you do not reboot your device because you will have to restore if you reboot and you'll have to re jailbreak and follow the procedure all over again. So let it prepare the file system. I'm going to leave the iPod touch up and I'll be back once it completes. All right, there we go. So we have the Apple logo now. It is just doing a simple respring. It definitely won't take as long as a regular reboot. So just let it respring. And once it's done, we'll be at the lock screen. And from there, we can open up Cydia again and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and tap on Cydia. I'm also going to unplug the fifth generation iPod touch and let's wait for Cydia to load. So as you can see, here we go. Cydia has fully loaded. Let's go ahead and tap on reload up in the top right hand corner, followed by going down to the bottom and then refresh on the sources tab. So make sure you go to sources and refresh and install any and all available updates. That's important as there may be updates that are crucial to the success of your device's jailbreak post jailbreak actually. So let's go ahead and wait for this to complete. And then from there, I'm going to show you guys that I can indeed install something via Cydia. And Cydia does indeed confirm that this is a fifth generation iPod touch running iOS 8.1.1 with the latest version of Cydia installed, Cydia version 1.1.16. And as you can see, I actually do have an available update. This isn't one that's absolutely crucial, but like I said, definitely update everything that's available after refreshing on the sources tab. So normally you'd go through here and you'd update it. Let's go ahead and just update so I can show you guys that it does indeed update properly. So let's go ahead and wait for this. I'm going to zoom out really quick and we should have a return to Cydia option shortly. So as you can see, it did successfully install, and there you have it. And also inside the install section, I definitely have the required packages there. As you can see, we even have the Taiji 8.0 through 8.1.x untether package. So there you go, guys. That's how you successfully jailbreak iOS 8.1.2 completely untethered on any iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch model. As I stated toward the beginning of this video, if you happen to encounter any issues during the jailbreak process, make sure you watch this video in its entirety again 
as it will rectify any of said potential complications. And with that said, if you guys like this video and it helped you jailbreak, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Also, once you've done that, if you're interested in paid apps, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices, just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or just freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. And then after tapping download, if you're on iOS 8, press the home button, open the app and download and install the temporary secure profile, which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's actually never even fully installed on your devices. It's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. And then from there, simply download sponsored apps for points, refer friends for even more and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes. All right. And that concludes this jailbreak tutorial, guys. Like I said before, I hope you liked it. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I release subsequent jailbreak guides and updates, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you're on the main page for this video. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.